Hey guys, George's Soundtracks here. This week we want to talk about one of the aspects when it comes to our steam decoders. When this has to do with setting the chuffs. Now what am I talking about? Well, let's get started. Now when it comes to our steam decoders, we actually have lots of sound built into our single steam decoder. That way you can match all of the possible different sound combinations. Now a few weeks ago we actually showed you how we set up this particular locomotive and I'm going to use this as a demo for today, but today we're going to talk about primarily the articulated sound. Now for many of you guys may understand that an articulated locomotive had two sets of drivers. And when it comes to an articulated sound, most of the time when we're saying that we're talking about a simple articulated. And a simple articulated, basically each cylinder gets fresh steam from the boiler and has equal pressure. And therefore, when it vents, it vents out to the exhaust stack together. So that means you get the equivalent of eight chuffs per revolution. So that means when you have the two sets of drivers going, you can have cha chuff 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 You like my performance? Anyway, so when we're talking about the articulated exhausts, we're talking about primarily a simple articulated. Now, for those of you not familiar with a compound articulated, a compound articulated actually reuses the steam. So the high pressure steam goes into the rear cylinders, and then once it's vented out of the rear cylinders, then the low pressure steam now goes into the much larger cylinders on the front of the locomotive and then vent out the exhaust stack, creating four chuffs per revolution. So nothing would need to be done, except if you're doing your chuff rate, you'll want to match the front set of drivers to when the timing is done. So that way you'll get the four chuffs per revolution timed with the front set of cylinders. But when it comes to what we're going to talk about today and how to set it up in the decoder, we're actually going to do this on a simple articulated, which will set both sets of drivers. Now, the way this is done, I'm going to talk about primarily this is done with all three, Econami, Tsunami 2, and the Blue Nami. I'm going to use the Blue Nami app to make the change, but I'm going to talk about briefly how to do this using CVs for you Tsunami 2 and Econami users. So the articulated rate is set up in CV112, and this enables the articulated exhaust. So adding a value of 128 to your CV112 value will turn on the articulated exhaust. So now you get that eight chuffs per revolution. So just to kind of show you that, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy moving at approximately, we'll say speed step five or six. So you can hear that single chuff. Now, when I'm using the app, I'm actually gonna be using the app to make the changes to CV112, I'm just using the app to do the work. So I'm gonna go hit my gear to go into settings. We're gonna go into sound settings. And in this case, we're gonna to go to other sounds. And we're gonna to scroll to the bottom. And this is where you'll see down at the bottom here where we can enable the articulated exhaust. So you can see that it's disabled. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and enable and you'll be able to hear the change in the articulated exhaust as I hit the button. So now you're getting that eight chuffs per revolution of the wheels timed up with the speed. As I increase, those chuffs were there. But it's always gonna be a consistent chuff, 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 chuff sound like you're hearing without wheel slip. Now in this particular case, wheel slip is defined as the sounds of the drivers going in and out of sync with each other. As the driver rotations, the wheel slip in there, or even turning of the drivers can have the sets of drivers rotate at a different pace. And we actually include four different wheel slip rates. You can do none, which you're hearing now. Then there's a slow, a medium, and a fast so that you can determine how fast you want to hear that change. And what it does is it just kind of helps change up that dynamic. So you can change up with the wheel slips, so you get a more exciting or interesting sound when you're running your articulated. So down here you can see articulated wheel slip is disabled. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start this at a slow wheel slip rate.
and you're kind of hearing that chuff changing because now it's not quite as distinct to separate. Well, let's go ahead and try, let's exaggerate the effect. Let's go ahead and go with a fast wheel slip rate. So now you can hear that chuff changing a lot faster going in and out of sync with itself. Now this is all set in CB112. Now for those of you guys not using the app, what you can do is you can go into the user's guide and you can refer to CB112. And CB112 does several things. Just to go ahead, so I'm not shouting over the locomotive, we're gonna go ahead and bring it to a stop and we're gonna mute the locomotive. So that in CB112, there's actually several things that you can adjust in CB112. For those of you using the Economy and Tsunami 2, in the Economy, not all these features are available, so you'll have to check the manual for differences. So CV112 can determine the type of fuel that's being used, whether you want hand shovel coal, auger fed coal, oil burner, or even a wood burner. It also determines whether you want to use a lifting or a non-lifting type injector, a power reverse or a manual Johnson bar. You can even do the sound of a three cylinder. We'll save that for another video. But you then can also set up the articulated exhaust with and without wheel slip and the values that you set in CB112 determine all of those sounds. So any of those steam engine sounds, whether it's a heavy exhaust or a light exhaust, depending on what you like or match your locomotive, you can make all of those match up to match your model. Now, like I said, this is all showed in CB112 so that that way you can really define how your locomotive sounds when you're running. So go ahead and take a look at it, refer to the user's guide, or if you're using the Blue Nami app, be sure to check it out, experiment with it, see what you like. You may find that they like a heavy wheel slip or a fast wheel slip, you may decide that you like a slow. It's entirely up to you, and that's the good thing, is that you can set all of this up to match your tastes. So the last thing I'll say on an articulated exhaust is when you're setting up the chuff rate in CB114 or through the app, what I would say is start your locomotive at about speed step five or six and look at one or the other drivers and match it up to it. Then once you set the chuff rate to match the set of drivers you're trying to match, then you can go in and turn on the exhaust, the articulated exhaust, so that that way your chuff timing will be in tune and you're not trying to count eight per chuffs per revolution, you're only counting the four, you can add the eight later. So guys, that's everything I've got planned for you this week. I hope this was helpful for you. For more information, be sure to go to and visit our website. Check out all the user's guides and the examples that are shown in the manuals to help you get your models running the way you want to. Also, for those of you in the uh, you, on our YouTube channel, I do encourage you to like and subscribe to our new YouTube channel so when we post new video content, so you'll be notified the next time we post videos. So guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.